Good morning, Tawanda. Today is Friday, April 5th, 2019. Setting Stone will have an important meeting on Monday. Please plan on being there to discuss the upcoming coffee house as well as to begin developing our magazine. Plan on meeting from 2.30 to 3.30. Chess Club will meet today after school in Mr. Yuva's room. Best Buddies members, our last chapter meeting of the year is Tuesday, right after school in room 316. We will have snacks and a fun activity. Hope to see you there. Prom is May 4th, and the guest request forms are now available. The form will be in the main office and your English teacher's room. The form is a little different this year and will need to be returned by April 30th. Any questions, see Mrs. Stivers in the main office. The Talawanda Drama Department is selling tickets for their spring musical, Freaky Friday. The shows are today and tomorrow at 7 p.m., April 6th at 1 p.m., and 7 p.m., all in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $7 pre-sale and $8 at the door. Tickets can be purchased from a cast or crew member throughout the day and during all lunches. If you would like to know more, see, please see a cast or crew member or contact Ms. Hudson or Mr. Stephan. Do you want to donate blood but are worried about missing class? Now is your chance to make a difference. If you are not taking one of the EOCs on Friday, April 12th, you can sign up to donate during the testing period, 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. If you are taking the EOC, you can still donate in a time spot after your test. We will still have spots open after it. And remember that if you donate three times during your high school years, you will receive red cords for graduation. Do you think you've got talent? Do you want to show us what you've got? We'll head on down to the main office of room 611 to grab a registration for the 2019 FCCLA Talent Show. There will be a mandatory practice on April 16th right after school in the pack. The talent show will be held on April 18th, 1st through 4th period, and Mel Edwards will be the MC. Tickets will be on sale during all lunches starting on April 10th through April 16th for $5.00. You will not be able to purchase a ticket on the day of the talent show. There will also be an evening talent show this year for parents on April 17th at 6.30 p.m. in the pack. Tickets will be sold at the door for $5 or $3 when you bring at least two personal hygiene items to donate. If you have any questions, ask Hannah Kress, Elizabeth Eberwein, or Mrs. Gregory. Color Guard clinics will be held on April 11th and April 18th at 6 to 8.30 in the middle school commons. This will just... This is just to see if you are interested in color guard and if you want to be a part of the marching band. Anyone attending needs to wear athletic clothes and tennis shoes. The Spring Setting Stone Coffee House will be held on Friday, May 3rd. If you're interested in performing, signups will, be sign will begin on Monday. Signups will be outside of room 320. And now for softball interviews. Is it ready? Is it ready? Hi, I'm here with Kayla Barger, softball player. Can you tell me what your record is this year? We're two and two. And then can you tell me who the funniest player on the team is? Um, Ashley. And then when's your next game? Today. <laughs> we start SWAT today. <laughs> I'm here with softball player Maggie Pierce. Can you tell me who the funniest player on the team is? Probably Ashley, honestly. And then can you tell me what position you play? Um, an outfield wherever he puts me. And then how does it feel to be a freshman on varsity? It's pretty lit. Really? <laughs> Alright, thank you. I'm here with softball player Maya Ainan. Can you tell me who's the funniest player on the team? Um, I'd probably say, like, Ashley or Hannah. <laughs> and then can you tell me what position you play? I play shortstop and sometimes second base. And then what's your pregame ritual? Um, I usually listen to, like, hype music and then I like talk with my friends a lot to get me in the mood. So. Okay. Hi, I'm here with Ashley Eric, varsity pitcher. So can you tell me your favorite pregame meal? I before every game eat Subway or SDS. And then can you tell me the funniest player on the team? Reese because she's stupid. And when's your next game? Today at five against Love Miami. Home. Be there. Dang, Luke, you grew up fast. So I heard something's going on next Friday. Well, this is what happens when you do a lot of running. Oh, yeah. Your body changes. So, But next Friday, it's yeah. going to be awesome next Friday. I'm telling you, next Friday we got a guy coming here to the high school. He's putting on a hypnotist show. He's going to pull kids out of the audience, put them up on stage, make them look at something really shiny. I don't know, maybe something like this. You know, pull a little keys out of the pocket and just... Maybe just going to look at him a little bit, you know, and all of a sudden, you're out. I know, it'll be awesome. When you want to look at him, laugh at him, make him do stupid stuff, you got to buy a ticket to the show.
They're in for sale in the office, Mr. Si uh, Mrs. Stivers, Mrs. Johnson have them for sale. They're eight dollars a ticket. If you wait until Friday to buy them at the door, then they're going to be ten bucks. Uh, doors open at six. The show starts at seven. Make plans next week to come down to the hypnotist show here at the Performing Arts Center here at the high school. And no more running. Yeah. It changes everything. Look, you gotta stop running, man. And and now for what's the tea and Patty G. On Wednesday, the news brought a flood of interest and hope when a young man found wandering local streets claimed he was Timothy Pitson, a boy who had vanished after his mother's apparent suicide in 2011. But within 24 hours, the story of a missing child's fantastic return has been punctured by the lab results. DNA testing proved it was an Ohioan, 23 years old, who had just recently left prison. Congratulations to the track and field team last night at the Edgewood Invitational. The girls won the meet and the boys placed third overall. For the girls earning top points were Carrie Herman winning the shot put, the 4 of 800 relay team, Maddie Eiden in the 800 and 1600, and Kyra Coons in the long jump and triple jump. Placing second was the girls 4 by 400 relay, Sophie Mack in the 100 hurdles, and Ainsley Clark in the 100 meter dash and 400. And the two mile was dominated by the girls with all four Talawana girls placing in the top four. Anna Lippin caught one and Eva Mata, Zoe Moore and Abby Balo followed. For the boys, Kiefer Bell won the 800 and helped the 4 of 800 place first. Also earning second place points was Anthony Dowers in the pole vault, Thomas Hickman in the discus, and the 4 by 400 relay team. Luke West Poli placed second in the two mile, and David Croucher in the mile. Next up for the track team, the Eaton relays take place on Tuesday. The softball team lost to kills last night at home by a 10-0 score. They fall to 2-4 and four overall, and begin conference play tonight against Little Miami. The softball team lost on the road to Wilmington two nights ago, uh, and the lacrosse team Played Kettering Fairmont two nights ago as well. They lost that game 9-8 in overtime. Grady Holmes, five goals in that game with two assists. The men's tennis team beat Harrison last night by 5-0 score to earn conference win number two on the season. Their overall record improves to 5-3. And all boys interested in playing golf next fall should attend a brief informational meeting Tuesday immediately after school in Mr. Conline's room. That's room 215. If you have any questions before then, feel free to stop by and see Mr. Conline. Home games for today. Boys varsity tennis takes on Wyoming at four. Varsity and freshman baseball have Little Miami at five. The freshmen will play at Oxford Community Park. And the softball team hosts Little Miami at five. Final four starts this weekend. That's a broadcast here on this Friday. I'm Patrick Geshin. Have a great weekend.